Committee on Electoral Matters to focus on amendments that contribute to improving the electoral process in the country for good of the society and not to advance individual gains. The governor maintained that any legislation targeting to empower or undo particular individuals is misplaced and also asked the lawmakers never to pay attention to identified problem promoting. Legislate in such a way, a manner, knowing fully well that tomorrow you will also sit here. So you're not doing it because you're on the other side. So you're doing it, maybe let it be at the disadvantage of the people sitting here. Do your legislation in such a way, a manner that when you sit here, those laws that are done can also apply to you. And you sit and say, yes. I did the right Governor Fubara noted that Nigeria is in a very trying time and needed to be careful not to make costly mistakes that would erase any good work that has been done in the minds of the people to necessitate a fresh start. In his address, the Chairman, National Assembly Joint Committee on Electoral Matters, Senator Sharafadin Abiodun Ali, said that they are in the stage for what he described as the second in the series of zonal engagements of the people on the proposed amendment to the Electoral Act 2022. The political awareness and involvement today is not like what we used to see 10 years, 20 years ago. Everybody now understands that political involvement is the key to a better and developed states. Everybody wants to be part of the system, from the local government to the states and into the federal. So I'm happy that we're doing this at this time. I'm not just doing this, but taking the most critical aspect of the election, women. If we're talking about election, it is women. It is not the men. The two votes that are counted in elections are women. There is no doubt in the fact that in this country we have never had an electoral act that's as good as the 2022. But the truth, Your Excellency, is that as soon as we had 2023 elections, we realized that there are still a lot of flaws that need to be addressed. Hence our decision to go around the state. And I must say, sir, without being being modest, that this is the first time this is happening in the history of the National Assembly. Because we felt that for us, or for our people to have confidence in the electoral process, they should be involved in the election, the, the lawmaking process. Apart from the issue of women and the youth, the South-South, because of the topographic nature of the place, is one of the most difficult terrains we have got having elections in Nigeria. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.